this the house you were born in? Yeah, we were born and raised here my whole life. Never moved. Uh, both parents always around. It's home. So this is the first court you played on? <laughs> yeah, first court. So I started. And uh, now I'm back here doing pre jam I thought I was going to show up at UCLA, you know. <laughs> but we in the backyard on the concrete. This is where legends are made. Most number one picks, they're in the gym. It's air conditioned. They got 20 people around. I see how you're working out. You're on the concrete. You got to imagine that the fence is a defender. You got, you got all kinds of obstacles and barriers back here. He ain't got on no knee pads. It's just you, family, and your trainer. Is that just how you are? Is that, is that, is yeah, this? This is how I was brought up. Yeah. Like I said, it's always been here for me. You know, I never had to go to a gym. It was always right here. So um, my dad be out here with me late nights. So, I mean, it's just normal for me. I mean, y'all come over here and look at it like it's uneven, but I, I think it's a good court. You always hear basketball compared to like jazz or music or art. And when I watch you play, right, it's like you paint a picture every time you play. Everybody's not like you. Everybody can't paint a Picasso. Everybody can't be a Da Vinci. You can. Because you can, that means you got to do more, you got to study more, and you got to see more. You ever make music with the ball? I just want to feel it in the backyard, what you feel. Right? And you got to feel it. You really feel it. Do you see the front of the room where them little loops hang from the net? Yeah. You know, they all got a name. When you see that rim, you're just looking at the back of the rim. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's like walking through a neighborhood only looking at one house. But you got to name every, every spot right. on the rim, and you got to get a relationship with it. When you get your rhythm, and you get that beat, and you hit that shot, don't let nobody touch it. See where that ball come back to. There you go. Uh, it might, it might, it might. You going to hit it? Well, you know I'm gonna try to you play with it. it. You know, now you know I'm gonna try to play with it. <laughs> now you starting to feel it. Dance with it, dance with it, yeah. Find the rim, knock it down, bam. That yeah, might come back. That ball might like you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Curve a little to the left. So you set the standard in terms of the work ethic. Yeah, I try to. You know, I'm the oldest brother, so. My dad always told me, you know, set the way for your younger brothers. Now that you've got a relationship and you understand what this ball is supposed to do, right? On this wall, see how many times you can hit it. Play your favorite song now, play your favorite song. What advice did you get from mom and dad? And, you know, what was the discussion about leaving school early and everything else? Yeah, we always knew I was going to be there one year and Coach Alvin was cool with that. And um, just throughout the year, my mom and dad just told me to stay focused, you know, keep a level head, don't let all the attention, all the publicity get to you. Yeah. You know, stay true to yourself and you know who you are. The originals, you put names on the move that you got. We got to find like what's going to be your signature. Best advice your mom ever gave you. Stay true to yourself. That really hits me hard because, you know, some people, when they get all this attention, you know, they go this way, they go that way. But if you stay true to yourself, you know, you're never going to change. So I think I credit my mom for that. You got punch me. Right yeah, you got punch me with it. Uh, That's your family on Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You got to get it all. You're going to always see Patrick Beverly and Tony Allen kind of guys. Best advice your dad ever gave you? Definitely keep working hard. When you sleep and someone working, and that person can take your spot. So, I mean, that's how the world is, and you got to work for what you want. Just like that. You may bring the postman back with this. And I hope that you keep that type of authenticity about yourself. And you, your mom and dad, y'all stay together through this journey. <laughs> <laughs> no!